I plan on doing a new series of videos soon, and I would like your feedback. Please comment below and give me suggestions on what you think I can improve on and or make videos in the future. My first idea to help give you guys some more videos to watch would be, I was thinking every Friday, since there's a moderator panel now on my channel, you can ask me questions, which you already are. I'm sorry if I haven't got to those questions yet, but I've been busy from school, school and other things getting in my way. But I'm going to start trying to every Friday. If you post questions there for right now, I might change it to a different place later. But if you post questions to my moderator panel, I'm going to try and answer one of those questions if possible. If not, I might not be able to answer all questions about software, hardware, any such stuff I can't get my hands on. If I have the ability to look it up, then I should be able to give you an answer. As well as those videos, I plan on, I'm trying to start up a little news show on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will look up the latest tech, no tech news, maybe Engadget, Gizmodo, any, any news website, CBS, NBC, whatever. But I will look up some of the latest tech news, maybe events that have happened in the world that have to do with technology. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna comment on what I think about them. I'm gonna give you some of my opinions, what maybe give you some extra info that you might not have known and I would like you to also comment and give me your opinion so I know what other people think about what I talk about and give me some hints on what to do better and the such. I'm gonna forward this video onto what I do today. It's gonna be my first one so please give me your opinions. I would really like to know how I can make this better and make it more enjoyable for you to watch. I'm going to limit this to three stories today, but to start out, it has been leaked that the Jordex right here will be updated to Gingerbread this coming Friday. Unfortunately for me, I've rooted my phone and I've done something or maybe the root did it and I need to unroot it, but I still have Froyo on this and have not been able to get any of the updates in between. I think there have been two updates in between Froyo and Gingerbread. And I have not been able to update it. So just keep in mind, I was supposed to be, I was told when I was rooted, that I was supposed to be able to up update and it will get rid of my root. But it seems though it won't even update. It restarts and says update failed. So keep that in mind if you root your phone. But also I'm looking forward to once I fix it to get gingerbread on my phone. Also, not only can it get on the Droid X, but it's rumored from a Motorola employee on a forum that the Droid 2 and Droid Pro will also receive this update. Maybe not on Friday, but in, in the upcoming time. In other Android news, released today on a Twitter update by Notch, the Minecraft developer. Two people developing a separate project for the Minecraft are developing a Android version of Minecraft that has been demoed on the Xperia Play and which is dubbed the PSP phone. I have recently started playing Minecraft and it's, I've gotten pretty addicted. Not as addicted now, but I have my own server I made on my computer and I can play wherever I am now on my laptop or my desktop. And me and my friend are build, building some pretty awesome stuff. We built a roller coaster and built like a whole city almost but it's pretty fun if you haven't tried now I will supply a link to the video it's showing on the Android device which should be a very wise fun game to get once it comes out and a download link to a 90 minute trial of Minecraft you can connect to multiplayer you can play single player but you can also if you want to just try single player you can download uh, a older version to try single player and try some old it's not the newest version but it will give you the sense of what the game's about but if you have a friend that has a server and you want to try multiplayer but don't want to pay for it there's a hour and a half trial you can download now 
and that will be linked below as well. Not only should this be coming when to Android, there hasn't there's nothing shows here for iOS, but I guarantee you it will be on iOS as well. It's just from what I've read, Android is based off Java. It's much easier to code for it than would be coding it for an iOS device. In other mobile news, AT&T is going to be bringing LTE wireless to five cities in the U.S. this summer. They plan on bringing a total of 20 by the end of the year. Dallas, Houston, Chicago, San Francisco, and Atlanta. Fortunately, clap clap AT&T, but Verizon is already this summer, or in June sometime, is going to release another 20 networks, add additional to the networks they already have. So you're, you're pretty slow, AT&T, I'm sorry, but Verizon's way ahead of you in this race. But you might be lucky if if you can get some cool exclusive phone with LTE. Maybe people will stay on your network, but also it's nice that if you can expand your 3G network, I would much rather see than even making a 4G network because at least Verizon, wherever you, almost wherever you have single, you have a 3G network, and now it's almost they're covering the. U.S. so fast or LTE, you almost you're gonna find any major city, even some, just probably over a hundred thousand people are gonna have LTE in it by probably next year. So, if you want LTE, the blazing fast wireless data for your phone, you might as well stick with Verizon for right now. But if you want AT&T, you better hope they speed up their output of LTE. This has been my first. New show, uh, tell me think of a title to call it. Help me, um, if any of you want to be nice enough to help me make an intro. If I don't get around to it, I'm just going to have my lame born Mechrock Tech intro for this. Um, or whatever you like. But please comment below on how I can improve this. Like I said before, uh, give me comments on these three stories. Maybe, um, next. Once I get the hang of this, I'll do more, maybe five or six, possibly more. I'm not sure how long. Just depends what I'm feeling that day, I suppose, or what I want to talk about. But, and also, please write in my moderator panel, because on Friday, I'm going to make another one of these, as well as answer one of your questions. And what else I'm going to add to that is, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to do this news thing. But on Fridays, I'm going to answer your question. And I'm gonna try on Tuesday, Thursday. They might or might they might have videos, might not, or I might just up when I'm on Monday or Wednesday or Friday, even the weekend. I just whenever I feel like doing one, I'm like I'm gonna do my review for this camera, which is now the T3 IUC recording, much better video quality, as you can tell in 1080p now. And I'm just gonna do my reviews, unboxings, maybe some other tech tips that. Nobody's asked some program I might use that you should use, but please subscribe, um, thumbs up, and get the word out. Favorite, send this to people, help me out, and thanks for watching, guys.